We have specific, we have credible information that Carly Trent is in imminent danger of serious bodily harm or death. One week ago tonight, a nine-year-old Rogersville girl was declared endangered. One week ago today, she walked out of her elementary school with her uncle. She's not been seen since. The TBI has a simple message for her abductor tonight, bring Carly home. But as hundreds of tips continue to pour in, the question everyone wants answered remains unsolved. Where is Carly? Well, good evening. I'm Josh Smith. Sarah Diamond has the night off tonight and News Channel 11 is in your corner as we continue to follow late breaking developments in an Amber Alert case that's making now headlines all across the country. Today, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation issued its most stern statement yet, saying this is not an innocent camping trip. And they believe as each day goes by, nine year old Carly is in even more danger. Police said her uncle by marriage, 57 year old Gary Simpson, lied to school leaders a week ago, but remained on an authorized list to pick her up from school. The News Channel 11 team continues to dig for answers tonight and is covering a whole lot of ground in three counties to bring you new information on the search for Carly Trent. Our team coverage begins with Curtis McLeod, who tracked down Gary Simpson's family today. Curtis, they told you they cannot believe this is happening, right? That's exactly right, Josh. They say that they never thought that this would happen and are in complete shock and disbelief that Gary would take his nine year old niece and just vanish out of thin air. Now, I also spoke with his wife, his wife, Linda Simpson. She tells me tonight that uh, one week ago today, they got up like normal, getting Carly and her seven year old sister ready for school, putting them on the bus. And she thought that her husband would come back home that day and he did not and took Carly with him and they, the, the search continues for both of them one week later today. Now his other family members, his father, they tell me that everyone needs to check their sheds throughout this area, check any covered uh, covered shelter. They believe that maybe the van could be in a shelter or in some, some sort of a barn in this area in the Rogersville and Goshen Valley community. His wife Carly's aunt making a direct plea to her niece today. Don't listen to Uncle Gary. If you see me, Gary's lying to you, whatever he's telling you, because you're supposed to be home. Again, family members are asking everyone to check their private property. Property They do not believe Carly and Gary are far away from this area. Now, I'm told that Carly has lived with her aunt and her uncle for the last two or three years. And even though her father had recently gained custody, I'm told that Carly and her younger sister were still in her uncle and aunt's care. Now, of course, we're going to stay out here and continue to cover this story and bring you the very latest. But we are live tonight in Rogersville. Curtis McLeod, News Channel 11, in your corner.